What's up, everyone? So I just got something in the mail from doyourown.com. Should we see what this is? Domyown.com. This is a great source to get your uh, pesticides and herbicides from. In case you're wondering what all these bags are, this is all old used coffee grounds. And I'm going to be putting that in a little test area in my lawn just to see what the extra nitrogen boost and organic matter does for my lawn. So that'll be in a future video as well. So should we see what we got here? If I can do this one handed. Unboxing video. What's that? Tenacity. So this is one of the most popular uh, products that a DIYer will probably need in their lawn if you have a lot of grassy weeds and stuff. So Tenacity is kind of expensive. It's about $65 for an 8-ounce jug here. But a little goes a long way. As you'll see here, we actually have that it comes with a syringe. And it actually tells you what the dosage is right on here, but check the label, which is going to be on the front here. Just unravel this on the side. Check the label, read it, make sure you know exactly how much to apply for your type of grass, and exactly like, you know, what type of weed you're trying to control. There's also different usage. You can use this as a pre-emergent or a post-emergent. We'll be doing it as a post-emergent for all my grassy weeds. You'll see the standard dosage rate is one teaspoon per two gallons of water. So what I'm going to be doing is applying this active ingredient mesotrione. I'm going to put that in my Harbor Freight four gallon backpack sprayer mixed up. And I'll show you the type of weeds that we're looking to control actually. I have a lot of grassy stuff in my lawn here. So uh... <laughs> You'll see I've got a lot of uh, like clumping tall fescue here. I've got a lot of weird coloring going on. You can see a lot of like, bright lime green. So I've got a lot of annual grassy weeds in here. I'm sure some of it's poa. And I've got some go. other stuff here. That might be like goose grass or crab grass or something. I'm not really sure, but you can kind of see in the lawn here. I've got several different kinds of patches of weird grass that kind of just makes it uneven looking. So I'm going to try to kill as much of this grassy weed as possible. You can see there's two different types here. Some sort of bunching tall fescue and another one that's a little darker green and a little bit finer. So anyway, I'm going to do a separate video of me mixing this stuff up and spraying the lawn. There's another type of grassy weed. I don't know what that is. See ya. So as you can see, it's pretty uneven. Yeah, I've already made that point. So I'll do a separate video of me mixing this up and the ratios and also spraying it and how to spray it with a backpack spray. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. If you have a comment, please leave it below and uh, I'll be sure to answer any questions. But anyway, I wanted to give you a different perspective of my lawn just to, so you can see all the inconsistencies with the grass and the different coloring. So I've got a bi-level house so I can stay on my first level here and you can see everything what I'm dealing with. So here's the front of my lawn. You can see a lot of the patchy grass that I'm going to be dealing with with that uh, tenacity that I ordered. So. You know, I'm going to show you the all the chemicals I'm going to be using in the lawn. I'm not just going to be using Tenacity, so I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so here's a rundown of my strategy for my weed fighting efforts, going from least aggressive to most aggressive. Um, well, sort of. Probably like that. So, this is just a Spectricide that I got from Home Depot, and it's just got uh, 2,4-D and a couple other ingredients, dicamba, that is really good for broadleaf weeds. So just like the label says, it's good for broadleaf. And, uh, you know, I'll use that just for spot spraying, but part of my strategy is going to be going with the tenacity, and it has to be mixed with a non-ionic surfactant, which is what this stuff is. So you add a couple teaspoons of this stuff here, 
mixed in with a teaspoon of every two gallons of water with the tenacity. So I'm going to do one application of that, spaced out about 10 days. I'm going to check the results, and whatever's left over, I got some quinclorac, which is basically just really good for grassy type weeds. And you can see the ingredients there. This is 18.92%. It's the equivalent of Drive XLR8. So uh, that's what the pros use in higher concentrations. You can get the Spectracide, this same bottle, except it says four plus uh, crabgrass, and it has quinchloric, but it's only about like 4%, and this, is, this stuff's 18. So I'm going to follow up the tenacity 10 to 14 days later with the quinchloric. And, you know, I'm going to wait and see whatever that takes out and whatever is left over. I may do a follow-up tenacity application mixed with the quinchloric together just to hit it double as hard, just to get rid of basically all the grassy weeds that I have. Failing that, we're going full nuclear, which is Roundup. That's what this is, glyphosate, 41%. This is the generic. And, you know, mix that up in a separate pump sprayer, just a little one gallon one, or maybe just like a little spray bottle. This will probably work just fine for that, and I'll just spot spray the impossible to kill. What Basically, whatever these things can't take care of, I'll follow up with that. And that'll basically go scorched earth and leave everything completely dead. So anyway, uh, this is my weed fighting strategy for the year and uh, you know follow me over the next couple of months we're gonna do several split applications here with all these products and we'll hopefully see the results from now which you saw at the beginning of this video and we'll see afterwards we'll probably have a lot of bare spots to fill in but that's what we're gonna be doing the seeding for later this fall all right stick around for the next video